Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back, Helen here again with Droid Life. So, Moto Z in hand, obviously out of box. You guys watch the unboxing uh, more than likely. So, what I wanna do now is just show you sort of a quick software tour of what you can expect on not only this Moto Z Droid, but the Moto Z Force Droid. They're both the same software experience. One just has a upgraded camera and battery, and this one doesn't, right? So this one's just incredibly thin. So in terms of software, this is pretty easy to do because as you guys know, Motorola does a really sort of light, I don't even wanna call it a skin. They basically give you stock Android, and then they sort of tweak some things um, here and there to really add to the experience. So uh, what you get up front is what looks like Google Now Launcher, but it's not. If you guys own the Droid Turbo, you know last, last year that, uh, or the Droid Turbo 2 even, that uh, Motorola and Verizon use this thing called Launcher 3, which looks like Google Now Launcher, but doesn't have any of the benefits and is slightly skin different, you can see there by that. So they've kind of taken some of the features from uh, that launcher, but it's not that launcher, just in case you were wondering. So you can't swipe over there to get to Google Now. I don't know why they do this, but they do. Um, and this is sort of what it looks like out of the box and how it's set up. Obviously there's some Verizon apps and things like that around. Um, in here, I've already started to load up um, my own software and you can see the apps are installing there. But you know, there's some Verizon apps. Um, initially it wasn't, uh, I should say, I wasn't offended by the Verizon apps that were included, but there's definitely some. You have VZ Protect and Navigator and Voicemail and My Verizon and Verizon Message Plus and Cloud and Caller ID. So you do have some, it's not terrible, but there's obviously the Amazon suite as well. So uh, that's sort of like that stock look that you get. Um, well, I guess if you swipe down the notification panel, you can see it's basically the same as what you'd expect on a phone that runs basically stock Android. So really clean there. Um, in the settings, again, still pretty clean. There's not a lot changed in here. If we do go into about phone, you can see it's running Android 6.0.1, and it is officially, again, called Moto Z Droid now. Model number XT1650, in case you were wondering. Um, so in here, though, you'll you'll see some some different stuff. So advanced callings there. This is a Verizon phone, so that's that's built right in. Um, you know, there's your typical settings and things like that, but there's also one for Moto Mods. And I'm gonna do a separate video on Moto Mods once I have a chance, but if you go in here, there's actually nothing in here. It, uh, it tells you to explore, help, and legal information. If you tap those, they just take you to websites. So there's not actually Moto Mods settings. Uh, and so on that note, when you're attaching and removing and using Moto Mods, there isn't like an app. There's not like a Moto Mod app. You just attach things, unattach them. There's no extra software. Uh, and I think Motorola did it on purpose to just make it this really seamless um, experience, right? And I think they've done that so far. And we'll talk about that more in another video. Uh, and you'll see it's pretty standard stuff. So where Motorola always shines for us is in the Moto app. So if we go into the Moto app, if I can find it, there it is right there. So in the Moto app, this is where you get actions, voice, and display. And they used to have assist, and then they took that out because basically Google built that into Android. So with actions, you have some new ones this time around. You still have approach for Moto Display, which is where you just sort of wave your hand over and it lights up the display, it shows you time notifications. And attentive display is if you're looking at it, you can make sure that it doesn't turn off. Uh, chop twice for flashlight, we've seen that. Flip for do not disturb, I believe is new. And essentially what that means is you just flip your phone over and put it down and it goes into do not disturb mode. Um, so be careful with that so you don't set your phone down it goes and do not disturb and then you don't um, and then you forget about that uh, you can pick it up to stop it rings so if you have an incoming call you have to just pick up your phone to stop ringing uh, and then here's another another new one it's called swipe to shrink so because the phone is slightly large um, and it's hard to get from here to there to your notification area they've created this swipe gesture that allows you to use a one-handed mode uh, we've seen this on other phones before Motorola is just a little bit different than that you just sort of swipe up from this bottom black area and then it shrinks and then you can use this in one-handed mode and get your notifications and all that stuff. And then if you wanna get out of that, you just tap in the black area and it goes back to full screen. So that's sort of a new feature they've added, which is kinda of cool. And then of course, twist for quick capture, which is twist and that launches the camera. So uh, on this phone, 13 megapixel camera, on the other one, 21 megapixel camera. This has laser autofocus and it seems to be fairly quick so far. The other one has laser and phase detect autofocus. So a little bit different. They're both F1.8 though, and both seem to be pretty fast so far. Uh, so, I mean, that's kind of it. Uh, if you long press here again, you'll see it's, it looks similar like it's cool now, but it's not. It's launcher three, which is just odd. Um, this is what your multitasking, your app switcher looks like. 
Um, you can long press to get into to Google Now and tap because it is running Marshmallow. Uh, and then one other thing they did do, um, which I believe is new as well, is if you have your fingerprint, or, fingerprint reader set up and you're on like this, you can actually put your finger over that and it'll turn the screen off. So rather than having to go hunt for power button over there, um, it really sort of works to wake your phone and lock it. So it's kind of a neat little feature. I don't know that we've seen anyone do that before, so kind of cool. Um, so that's kind of it in terms of software. There's not a lot of new stuff going on here. Um, I did want to show you just some of those Moto features. So you guys have seen that where you put your hand over it and then it lights up the screen and shows you Moto display and things like that. So that's not new. And so you do have the, um, the sensors here and, and up top for doing that. Um, again, I already showed you the twist for, for quick capture. Um, in terms of camera software, uh, you could set it up to tap to focus and then shoot here, or you can have it just tap to shoot, um, which is something Motorola has pushed for a while. If we swipe this out, you'll get shutter sound settings and storage settings and quick capture and save location. Um, and you can choose, you know, resolution and all that stuff. So you can do that. And this does record in 4K, just so you know, and 1080p, 60 frames per second, auto HDR, flash, you guys have seen that before. So um, I believe that's it in terms of software. Again, the Moto Mod stuff, I'll do a separate video for that. Um, but really, there, there, isn't, um, there isn't software there. You just attach things and they just work. So, uh, so far, you know, it's fine. It's, it's that sort of clean version of Android that we like. Uh, I just wish they would do things like use Launcher 3. It just doesn't really make a lot of sense. Uh, but that's kind of it in terms of software. It's just sort of what you expect from stock Android with just those little bit of features added on top. Oh, and then they do have voice. So I think my program mine to be, okay, Moto Z. And then it pops up and you can voice command it and things like that. So anyway, just a mini software tour. If you guys have comments, questions, let us know. Otherwise, we'll be back with more Android Life. Peace.